All right, everyone, here we go with the May 2024 overview reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. This is straight up energy reading, and I think it's pretty important. I, if you read, hopefully you read my write-up on May uh, in my blog, sltblog.com. It's, it's a pretty interesting month. It's dominated by Pluto retrograde right at the beginning and Jupiter which just is, it, there's all kinds of things. It's not just Jupiter changing signs into Gemini, which often provides, in my experience, a lot of protection. Um, but there's a lot going on around that too. There's a big, giant, collective opportunity to rethink things. And this pre-shuffle is mind-blowing to me because I, did a, I do a quarterly reading, right, all the time and for, for each quarter of the year. And in the May column of this particular year, Right in the Q2 reading, as I call it, uh, we got a two of cups, and it, it's it showed up here in the pre-shuffle, and it's a very important. It's in a very important position here. Okay, so we'll talk about that when we get to it. But this energy of May, we have a problem with collective energies right now, and I talked about it in in the May section of the Q2 reading of doubt and fear. And all of that. There's a lot of that floating around. We have a tendency, especially out there in the societal energies, to doubt everything. And I, I blame certain energies for that, you know, who planted seeds of doubt. And then all, once you do that, you ruin everything, right? You, you absolutely, it's called poisoning the well often, usually in business, right? Uh, somebody sabotages. It, it, it's a form of sabotage energy. And once that's there, it, it grows like a cancer. It grows like it just feeds on everything. And that's kind of what's happened. And this, it, I'm not going to talk about societal energies because I pull on that offline for myself. It's too volatile a topic. But I am going to talk about you and your energies and the energies of the DM side that are coming in. And there's a, there's a tendency, if something feels good or something feels right, to doubt it. And there's also a tendency to doubt anything that's not your own opinion. So I'm going to say again what I said in the May write-up. And I'm just going to tell you this, okay, because the DM side's probably not here, not less than that. Um, don't be too rigid in your beliefs, your opinions, and things like that. Be the sitting king. Let, you, let, inner, let it come to you. Process it, okay? And the pre-shuffle is going to tell you all this. I just want to cover it here. It's a very important month. It's not just about Pluto retrograde and Jupiter changing signs. We talked about that in my write-up. There's a lot going on here, okay? This is a huge Pluto retrograde, in fact. It's huge. We're about to lose. We got one more shot at Capricorn. It'll retrograde back into Capricorn in September. And it's sort of, when it retrogrades back into Capricorn, it's sort of asking the question, are you sure? Are you sure this is the future you want? This is all about your future. The choices you start to make now, the opinions you start to form and reshape now, uh, affect your future long down the road. It's the case for societal energies, and it's the case for you personally, okay? And it's the case for the soulmate cycle. So let's pull on May. I'll pull on the incoming energies. Obviously, your energy is attached here too, but we'll, let's get going. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, or you found Steve Love Terry here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. For some of you, this won't hit you till August. It's entirely possible. You know, it really is. All right. For some of you, it won't hit you for three years down the road. It depends. Uh, how slow you're going on your timeline depends on choices you've made. Right? How many wrong turns have you made? Some, some people make more than others. Right? And uh, rigidity is not your friend here in May. All right? And during this entire Pluto retrograde that dominates, you know, the whole month begins with it. All right? And of course, I'll pull on it. Don't worry. Pre-shuffle, surface energy. I said, give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of May. The energies of May 2024, and I did lengthy efforts to point out to the universe what it is and what May is, because that's just our calendar. I don't know. All right. Here we go. Six of Wands crossed by the Nine of Cups. There's a chance. It's minor arcana. It's up to your free will for, some, for feeling good and some victory. This is kind of a month. Now, you have a lot of contemplating you're doing and things like that, and the incoming energy does too. It's the kind of month I like to call uh, the way the energy feels is sort of a lay back in a field with a blade of grass in your mouth. Do some thinking, right? There's a good chance here to feel really good. And if you've had some chronic health issues and things like that, there's a chance within the energy that they smooth out quite a bit in the month of, in May's energy. Absolutely. 
or as I like to say, Absa Smurfly. Okay? After that is my sitting king. He's not sitting here, but he's perched. It's my perched king. The king of swords. Make your, form your opinions about your beliefs, about who you want to back, about who, who you want to be, more importantly, on truth. Make your choices on truth. The ace of swords is there, and that king right there is holding that ace of swords, okay? If it, if it makes you feel good, right, it, trust it. Don't doubt it. There is a wave of doubt floating around in the energy, all right? It's in the collective energy in particular. It's been put there because seeds of doubt have been planted. And it's because that energy from World War II is here, that energetic storm that comes around every 80 or 90 years. Even the press is starting to notice it. It's the same shit that happened then. Seeds of doubt were planted. And that's what's going on here. Get your own facts about who you are and where you're going and what you believe. Do your own research, okay? And certainly don't, don't follow any conspiracy theory groups in May. That'll run rampant. That's fucking nonsense. At the end of the day here, with the soulmate cycle, uh, you have someone attached to you that is also making decisions for a change on what really makes them happy. All right? And underneath that is the Two of Cups from my May poll. Right? And right there, it is bookending the Six of Wands. You can have it. It's there. You can have very balanced months. It's up to you. It's up to your free will, and it's up to their free will on their side, too. This is a month where it's wise. And well, it's always wise, too, but this is a month where it's wise to admit you might be wrong. Or at least allow for the fact that you might be. Always want to do that. And no, it, it, nobody should ever assume they're 100% right. I don't. You know, That's why I check myself and cross-check myself three, four times throughout the course of a reading. You know? And I'm always happy when the universe backs me up, but I'd be equally as happy if, if on the times it doesn't. Because then I give you a good read. Alright, right, let's go. I'm shuffling the deck. This first card out's before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here. But overall, it is a month where you can kick back in a field and put a blade of grass in your mouth. It is a very flowy energy. And you got Jupiter's protection. Jupiter moving into Gemini is a very protective energy. It, it's an energy that represents for me, as I've tracked it throughout my life, uh, a lot of last minute saves. Okay? So keep that in mind, too. Alright, let's see. So why the fuck are we here? What's going on? Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of May 2024 universe. Here we go. Card before the cut. Came back. Car, car, the cut card's back up the pre-shuffle. I got part of the pre-shuffle back. The Nine of Cups. We're here because of that Nine of Cups and the pre-shuffle. Because you can find contentment in this energy. You can point yourself towards a good future. Somebody else here is real attached to you. Could be a new soulmate. Could be somebody off in the future you haven't even met yet, which then when they have this epiphany, this, this realization, puts them on the path where you two run headlong. Could also be a long lost runner. Could be all of the above. But it's somebody here attached to you realizing what makes them happy. Okay? And, and, and it sticks. Right? It sticks in their mind. It sticks in their soul. All right, let's go. Or in their heart, I should say. It's already there in the soul. What's after the cut? The devil. See? Proof of everything I just said. Proof of what I just said about that nine of cups. All right? It's someone who, if, well, it, you need contrast. Right? That's why I tell you, don't just listen to one side of an issue. If you, listen, if you just listen to one side of an issue, you get stuck in that side's narrative, that side's storyline. you got to listen to both sides of an issue, whether it's a personal issue or a world issue. And the truth lives some, and you find your truth somewhere in the middle. All right, well, that's what I got here. I got somebody who's got contrast. They're seeing equally what doesn't make them happy, what's toxic, and how they've thought that made them happy in the past. Okay? It's very important. Backs up everything I said. I love it. I love it when that happens. All right, let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's do it. We're going to do it right here, May 2024. And tomorrow, I'll start pulling the Zodiac fly through. And it's just like a weekly reading. There's no time stamps. And there's no, just watch all 12. About nine out of the 12 should resonate with you. I'm still not your fucking astrologer. Or this ain't your fucking horoscope. Right? It's just one reading for each sign or each angle on the soulmate cycle split into 12 pieces. That's all. Instead of one card. Right? Alright. Whatever. You do what you want. Okay. Here we go. Give me the soulmate cycle in May 2024 universe. Let's go. Give me a reading. And it knows what I mean by that. Okay. You're not going to believe 
What do you think the card is that's here after all that shuffling? I was yammering on and I was shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and then the nine of, nine of cups came back. Listen, that, that could have been the fact that the two of cups showed up in that pre-shuffle. Okay, we're probably going to get a few cards from the pre-shuffle back. It wouldn't surprise me, one or two anyway. That two of cups is a very important card. It's extremely important because it showed up in my Q2 reading as the base card for the month of May. Okay, and the fact it showed up in the pre-shuffle and the fact that the universe keeps bringing back the pre-shuffle. And I've shuffled the shit out of this. <sighs> Nine of cups fueled by the king of swords. Again, everything I just said right here. That's the overall energy. It's like, listen to Steve. Okay. All right. Readings on the flip. Right here's the energy around your connection in May 2024. Right here's the, how, the 3D energy, how this person's behaving in real life. Right here is their soul. This is the hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the energy of connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I can't believe. So nine of cups. Very important energy. As it ties to the sitting king, who has the, the sword of truth here, but you notice it's a rainbow right? It's about finding your bliss. And it's the same thing with the incoming energy. Where the, except on the incoming energy, they're really taking a look a lot at, at the devil. They've got a bigger devil than the DF side does. You will, you will too. You will see what makes you happy through the contrast between seeing what doesn't and how you thought that made you happy. Okay? If you didn't understand what I just said, re-fucking wind it because I'll just fuck it up if I repeat it again. Okay. Because mm, it didn't come from me. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Uh, right here, the energy around your connection. Six of Wands. Okay, we're back. There's your Six of Wands that landed there. I told you that. And again, we already talked about it. Somebody gets it here. Somebody here. There's a chance here for communication. There's something. Something happens. Something's going to happen here. It is up to somebody's free will, though. I wish it was more of a justice card. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay? Victory after a long battle energy coming out of this. Oh, wow. That's nice. You got a butterfly there, right? Imagine yourself laying in a field, sucking on a blade of grass. Like I said, the butterflies would be there. They'd be flying around. Uh, 3D energies. How are they behaving in real life? Temperance. Mm. They get it. What did I say? Rewind. Somebody here is getting it. This is a very, if you flow with this energy, if you're not rigid, if you're willing to admit that things that you got something wrong or things that you thought made you happy before do not or someone you liked before you do not anymore and the inverse can happen as well then this is a beautiful month for you this is a month of sheer victory and it looks like the majority of the DM side is starting to wake the fuck up all right it's starting to realize some things look at this balanced energy it's about truth so in real life they're looking at truth well of course they are right where, where is it where, where is it? of course they are we got the King of Truth, and we also had the Ace of Swords in the uh, pre-shuffle as well. Wow. Okay. Um, you're showing up a lot in this reading, by the way, so these cards apply to you as well. You're going to have victory in a soulmate cycle. You're going to be pretty content this month. And I just got done saying, I said, even if you have some kind of chronic health issues, obviously go see a doctor if you need to, but they should smooth out a bit in May's energy. That wouldn't surprise me one bit if that happened. Obviously, see a doctor if you need to. But at the end of the day, it's a beautiful month. 3D life in real life. It's beautiful energy here. It's healing through truth kind of aspect. Archangel Michael. And we've already had his sword a couple of times. Uh, soul. Their soul is here. It bookends. The incoming energy, soul energy is here. It bookends the Six of Wands. It's a page of swords. Mm. Somebody's having uh, stepping outside themselves. This energy forces all of us. To step outside ourselves and view ourselves uh, from the outside. It's something you have to do. It's something that is very difficult to do. A lot of times you have to go meditate and do it and things like that. This energy, you will almost be spying on yourself, okay? And seeing how you've been, seeing how you were, and all of that. So it's, a, it's somebody here taking it from the incoming energy, stepping outside themselves, and not necessarily happy with what they see, maybe getting victory over, you know, this energy of disappointment here, okay? But that's what that, that means. That's what the Page of Swords in this context means. Somebody is stepping outside themselves and taking a good look at themselves, right? It's a bit like if somebody filmed you on a daily basis and you thought for sure you were living your best life, having a great day, and then they brought the DVD over or the video file over later 
and you watched it back and you went oh my god I thought I was doing good I'm that's that's depressing you know it's like that okay but somebody gets but that's what brings the healing this energy flows from here to here and somebody gets real about the truth okay about what's you know and you make adjustments you do it's what I already talked about remember what I said in the pre-shuffle and the cut cards and the overall energy hidden energy message from the universe read with the six of wands the high priestess again this is somebody's feeling this connection deeply deeply the connection is on the surface it's not pushed back it's been pushed back but it's on the surface um, I may have said this in my write-up um, the month of May's energy in particular, this will bleed into June quite a bit, is a bit like where your future is concerned. You have a bit of a crystal ball. All of a sudden you're the wicked witch of the West, or maybe the good witch, with a crystal ball. You can really pick and choose your future in this energy. And I, I understand that now based on why that, on, on this energy here, right, stepping outside yourself. You can really pick and choose your future. It's up to you what you want to do. Okay, if you want to stay rigid, and you know, I'm, nope, I'm sticking with that. All right, you need to understand that everybody need to understand the concept of sunk costs. There are people that stay in marriages that they hate, that they're miserable because they've been married 10 years. That's their excuse. Well, I got 10 years put into it. Really? So your logic is to waste 10 more? Right? We don't live forever, motherfucker. Right? It's like that. That's not a reason to do things. This energy here. You can pick and choose your future, but you've just got to let the energy flow. Somebody is. Somebody is viewing your connection in the future here. Metaphorically speaking, maybe quite literally with this energy here. What's the potential final outcome? Red with temperance. Yeah, it had to be. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, that's going to be a dominant card. That's going to be a big card in the month of May, I will tell you. Uh, Three of Pentacles. You know, based on these truths, based on what they saw on the DVD of their life, right? I talked about that, right? They're watching it back, thought they had it going on. Based on what they see, somebody rebuilds on a solid structure. I, this might as well have been a tower. The reason it's a minor, uh, the reason it's not and it's a minor arcana is because again, I can't predict free will. Nobody can, okay? Uh, nobody can. All right, let's go. Let's clarify which randomly at the bottom has three pentacles. Three pentacles, three pentacles. So we got the right deck. It's the light seers. Let's do it. Six of wands around your connection. Why is the six of wands here? I didn't even do my regular intro in this reading. It's different. I usually say, I point out all the positions and then I say, you know, all kinds of other shit. I don't think I said any of that. If I did, I don't remember. I don't know. Whatever. Who the fuck knows? Whatever. The, we will be extending this if I didn't say it already, and it's a, it, the link will be in the description. This is the only reading in the Zodiac fly through or anything, you know, May related, for example, that I'm going to clarify or that I'm going to extend. So keep that in mind. Usually my overviews review some things. Let's go. Six of Wands. Why is it here? Give me the Six of Wands, universe. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yeah. I, what did I say earlier? Do you remember? I said something about when I threw that card. May have been before the freeze up. I don't know. I said I wish it was justice, right, or something like that. But it's a minor arcana because it's up to their free will. Justice is crossing it. Okay, come on. That fucking blows my mind. It's why I love tarot. It's it real. It's real. You know, it really is a beautiful medium for the universe to reflect back. For someone like me, for an energy reader, it's terrific. It is what it is. It's everything I already said about the Six of Wands. It's crossed by the card that I wish was here. The environmental energy is the potential energy of what this can be, right? Happiness, balanced energy, two soulmates coming together, justice for you, justice for all. It's the potential. In the 3D here, it's victory after a long battle. Somebody's getting it, but it is up to their free will. The truths, however, are not. They're getting the truth one way or another. That's Major Arcana. What's on top? Six of Wands on top of Six of Wands. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm motherfucking saying? This is like one of those divinely guided readings again. Oh, I'm not pulling this reading. I will tell you. No, I mean, I physically am. I, I have nothing to do with any of this. I'm just uh, being used as some kind of conduit here. Um, yeah, why is the Six of Wands here? Because the Six of Wands is there because of everything I just said. Okay, why is the Six of Wands here again? 
Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Victory comes to you no matter what happens here. Okay? Victory comes to you, the DF, which is most of you watching, your energy is reflecting off of that. No matter what happens here, you get a win this month. If you do what I suggest. If you take advantage of the energy. Please read my write-up for the month of May in the blog. Okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, you get vic the, the DF side gets a victory no matter what. The DM side, that victory is dependent upon their free will, upon how much they flow with this energy, upon how much they let the truth come through. But they are looking at their demons. We saw the devil after the cut. They are looking at it. Seeing the contrast of what made them happy before. Ooh, maybe that's not so good anymore. This is a very powerful Pluto retrograde. All right? It very, very much is. And that future that you can see, uh, Jupiter will expand the shit out of it. Okay? Because we got you got a lot of protection in that energy. You get a lot of last minute saves with Jupiter and Gemini. It's just it's just one of my favorite placements for Jupiter. It really is. Why is temperance here? Tell me about temperance. Give it to me straight. The magician. Somebody's changing here. Most of the incoming energy is changing and transforming. It all feels very new. It all feels very pressured. There's some nervousness attached to it, but it's an alchemy energy. It's led into gold. Okay. For some reason, the truth is sinking in in May's energy. I say for some reason, I think it has a lot to do with Pluto retrograde. What's on top? Knight of Swords. Somebody's acting on these truths. Somebody's acting on these truths, and that action is creating a great deal of change. Okay. They're also communicating these truths to other people. Maybe you. Could be. I mean, I don't know. Uh, whatever. We'll see. Uh, why, this is encouraging. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Seven of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's, uh, it's just, just checking my read. Somebody's, uh, the primary energy is somebody is acting on these truths and creating change. It backs up what I said about temperance, where the truths are sinking in. Somebody's making new choices here. And those choices are very different from what they made before. Why? Well, I don't actually mind that page of swords there. Normally I'd complain about it, but in the context of this energy, this is somebody stepping outside themselves, right? And getting to see just how shitty or where they're, all, where they're making mistakes. A lot of times we don't see where we make mistakes because we're us. We're wrapped up in the middle of it. That's why it takes a friend to come up to you sometimes and say, Hey, you know, I've been noticing lately, you know, that kind of thing. Well, in this, you don't even need that friend in this energy. And they don't either. Nobody does. We're going to be able to step outside ourselves and take a good look. Mm. It's nice. If you remain neutral, it's one of the most powerful things that can happen to you. If you're rigid and you refuse to change your mind about anything or anyone, this energy will kick your ass. You will, you will see all kinds of futures in the crystal ball, but they won't be accurate. Well, you know? You've got to be, you've got to flow with the energy. You've got to be neutral. You have to. All right, here we go. All right, I'm still shuffling for the Page of Swords. This is powerful energy. If you use it right, that crystal ball can be pretty amazing. You can pick, a, you can pick and choose the future you want. Um, why's the Page of Swords here? It's crossed by the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, it's somebody... Look, look, that's the environmental energy. What is she doing? She's looking out, viewing over the horizon, taking a good look around, getting a view of where she might surf or where she just surfed. It's, it's everything I just said. What's well, on top? <laughs> and this is the picture of the person here, the incoming energy, when they watch that movie back. And they go, oh my God, viewing themselves from the outside. This, In this case, that's them, right? And that's them viewing themselves from the outside. And that's their reaction to it. Yeah, it's amazing what happens when we get neutral, when we flow with the energy and we, we see things objectively, all right? Fucking crazy town. It's crazy town. Ah, why is the five of swords here? A six of wands. A six of wands. Why did I read that as a six of wands? Probably because she's smiling, right? But it's a knight of wands. Somebody acts very... There's an incoming energy here. This is probably why there's two six of wands over here. 
these energies are tied together. In fact, I got a color match on those two cards. Um, somebody, as soon as they see this, it flows over here and it looks like they make some changes very fast, very fast, almost impulsively moving in a new direction. Oh, that's fucking encouraging as hell. I like that. But in another layer of energy, energy is always in layers, what they're, why this guy is reacting this way, right? My five of swords, false victory guy, is because they, they see how they've glazed over some things. They've allowed some things to take advantage of them. They'll view things the wrong way. They've allowed themselves to get absorbed in conspiracy theory nonsense, all that kind of stuff. It'll get you. It's junk food. Devil energy is junk food. It'll get you. Next thing you know, you're 900 pounds. You know, well, it was tasty. Yeah, it was tasty. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Right? That's what's going on here. Somebody sees where they've been emotionally immature, where they've glazed over things. Either way, that's their reaction. It's exactly everything I predicted. All the cards came out perfectly. View in the movie, not, not like it. I mean, it's all there. Now, let's talk about the universe wants to give us this crystal ball here, which I think I'd mentioned a crystal ball a bit in the May write-up, strangely enough, and there is a crystal ball right there on that card. Tell me about the high priestess. Why did you throw this to me? I know that the soulmate connection is very much on the surface. I know that. The, soul, the whole soul cycle itself is very much on the surface. I will say that. Um, there's no doubt. It won't take much to think about it. It won't take much to learn from it. But uh, if, you, if you pay attention, because you're, again, it, the soulmate cycle is about your future. It's about learning something so that you can make different choices that affect your future. You're affecting your chances of meeting someone that you haven't even met yet. That, that isn't even in your orbit yet by the choices you make in the present. Those choices have to be informed by wisdom. We only get wisdom by going through shit. That's all. It's that simple. I'm simplifying the shit out of it. It could write a thousand page philosophy book on it. But that's all you need to know. It doesn't need to be complicated. Let's go. Why's the high priestess here? It's all about your future. It's not about the present. What you can take from the past. It's crossed by the Ten of Cups. Somebody sees your soulmate connection is on the surface and somebody sees it as this. It's creating this image. They're seeing what could be. It's what I already said. That's the perfect card to fall there. They're seeing in that crystal ball what they could have had or what it could be. Now, if this is a soulmate that you haven't even met yet that's way off in the distance, this energy sets them on that path. They're going through the process of seeing that they want something better and envisioning it. And it turns out that you are one of these people in this vision. The, you, your energy matches their manifesting. And then they get put on a path which eventually leads them to you. And you, here in the present, are completely unaware of it until you meet this person. That's why you don't want to fuck off this soulmate cycle and say, Oh, I'm done with it or I'm over it or whatever. The lessons you learned from it are giving you wisdom to make new decisions in the present which affect your future in ways that most people don't imagine. It's very short-sighted. And I know this is a topic that's come up a couple of times lately in an Is This You reading and in the extended for the Mercury Retrograde reading, but it's important to understand it. Here's the King of Pentacles right here. Somebody, somebody here, this is part of the contrast of where they saw victory in comfort. They're realizing that the real comfort is over here with the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are a divine couple. These are divine couples, right? Somebody didn't see this as victory before. They saw you. They may have been intimidated in other energies. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles, they look like they got everything they need. They're all set, male or female, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe. But now they see that that's where they belong, that that's where real comfort is. And they can see it all in that crystal ball. Okay. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. And that's, okay, I mean, come on. The Four of Wands is red with the Queen of Pentacles. So it's, it's marriage. It's, it's the new path. It's someone making a decision to walk a new path based on a vision that they're having in that metaphorical crystal ball. It's everything I already said, all backed up perfectly right there. And that Four of Wands, walking that new path, segues us right into the final outcome of Three of Pentacles, building something new on a solid foundation. Based, a foundation that's based on truth. 
not a bunch of nonsense, right? And that's how, and that's what they're seeing. They're seeing where what all the nonsense is. When we can step outside ourselves and take a look around, which I can do like that anytime I want, which I often do and make corrections in my life and see things for what they really are. Now everybody gonna be able to do it. Everybody gonna be a little mini me all through the month of May if they wanna be, right? It's wonderful. Take advantage of it, but don't be rigid in it. If you're rigid in it, you definitely won't like what you see. You know, that, that's because it might contradict what you thought you had right. And you gotta be okay with that. It's okay to be wrong. It takes a big man or a big woman to admit they were wrong. It takes a big man or a big woman to take responsibility for their actions. It takes a big man or a big woman to make some changes in their life. And this person here, whoever this is attached to you, and I think it might be more than one, and I think for some of you it's a distant future person, they make some big changes fast based on that. And you're in that picture. They don't know it's you. There's no faces here. It's just an energy like you, right? It's what I would call a girl like you, like that. Like that old song from the Trogs, a girl like you. Okay, there you go. Why is the, uh, and it's okay if you're a dude, it's the name of the song, I'm sorry. A dude like you, okay? Yeah, either way, the concept works. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is it here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? I really just want you to get the most out of this. I know I'm not going to change the world. The world's going to make bad decisions and fuck themselves off. I'm just a neutral observer watching it all happen, shaking my head like this guy. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to thrive in it. Anybody here watching me, I want you to thrive in this energy. And the information I'm giving you here will help you do that. You could build that future that you want. You could put yourself in line with somebody you don't even know you're, you, you're in line with yet. Somebody way off in the distance that you haven't met is affected by decisions you make right now, the choices you make, the way you think, the way you feel. Big time. All right, here we go. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. What's the final final on this universe? What do you want to tell my people here about this Three of Pentacles in relation to them or the incoming energy? What the fuck? <laughs> it applies to everybody. It's crossed by the High Priestess, which immediately ties it over here. And I just got done saying this is our segue into it. Walking the new path, building the solid foundation. It's a feedback loop. Pay attention to every fucking thing I said here. It applies to everybody. But it, as far as the incoming energy goes, on, on some level. But as far as the incoming energy goes, uh, yeah. They're, they're flowing with this, okay? It's something, it's a lot of what's been pushed back is coming out for review. It, it, it's making somebody want to make some changes. I got changes here, I got changes here. And these, this card's read with this one, and this card's read with this one. What's this one? The Ten of Wands, heavy pressure. Tens are the end to end dead end that lead to a new beginning. Somebody here is doing something. They are fast, and, and I get the fast because I got the Knight of Wands there. This is a dam about to break. This is something that's been a long time coming. There's a lot of pressure building. There's pressure building on the DM side in particular, in the soulmate cycle, and when I pull my offline readings on societal energies, it's a motherfucking pressure cooker, okay? The most common set of cards I get when I pull on societal energies right now especially one in particular that I love pulling on, is the devil crossed by justice. It's, it's just unreal how often it comes up. I can grab any deck and it comes, it's just mind-blowing. That being said, we get a little of that here. And we had justice crossing here. And we had a devil already after the cut. This is just a lot of pressure here. And it's been something that's been building and building and building and building. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Nine of Wands. Nines are the end in tarot. It's an escalation. The energy actually flows that way. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Nine of Wands? Because it's building. It backs up what I said. Yeah, it was a nine. Then it goes to a ten. And then it just breaks. So right here, I've got someone where they've been resistant to making new choices is now considering it. And actually, it looks like they're acting on it. And it's because of this energy in the soul which ties to the message from the universe, which ties to the final outcome. The energy of the soul, where you get a chance to step outside yourself and take a look at your life in a way that's actually pictured on the card. There's themselves, 
and there's themselves stepping outside themselves and looking and go, what is that fool doing? You can only do that if you're neutral though. If you're rigid in your beliefs, you will never call yourself a fool. You will never call yourself anything that might change the way you are. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, it's wonderful. It's terrific. It's great. Right? Right? I'll tell you what. There you go. All right. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's pull three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. See what else the universe wants to tell you. So May is about growth. If you're someone who's worried about, well, he didn't say that. I watched Steve today. And yeah, you sound like that. He didn't say that, that the person would reach out. But I watched this other person and they said that they regret it and they're turning around and coming back and I got communication coming. But Steve didn't say that. Yeah, Steve didn't say that. This month is much deeper than that. Okay, uh, yeah, somebody might reach out. We, we did have the Two of Cups and Victory in the uh, pre-shuffle, but that's just surface energy. Any jackass can pull surface energy. I'm a special jackass. That being said, we went very deep here. And this is a month about making changes about your future, about making new choices to affect a future that you may not, you may not even know exists. You, this is about the long view. That's why that message keeps coming up in the readings. So if you're just worried about somebody reaching out, uh, you're, you're just, you're worried about, you're low vibration, you're just worried about, sh you're short-sighted. That's not, that's not what this is about at all. This is a chance to give yourself a future that you never even imagined. This is powerful energy. Even a small change has a, a ripple effect that goes on and on and on and on. Right? So don't worry about that. Somebody reaching out. They might. There's a dam about to break here. This is communication. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. If they do, it'll happen rather suddenly with the power of a tower, I'm sure. But that's not what this is about. This is much deeper than that. And that's why you guys showed up in this reading a lot. You know? But then again, I don't worry about that too much with Steve's Love Tarot. This channel scares away the stupid. Most of the people here are very high vibration. And I, I like the following I've got. I like you guys very much. Y'all, your energy is terrific. I sit here in it. But there's always a few that drift in who are just like, well, he didn't say they're reaching out. I'm looking for communication. You know? Very short-sighted. Life is bigger than that. You're not here to hear from somebody. <laughs> That's not why you're here. You're here... To expand your energy, the Empress, the King of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles crossing the King of Cups and the base energy. Well, ask the universe what else you want to tell my viewers before I go pull some wicked voodoo on the devil that came out after the cut in particular, and just all of this. I want to see their movie. I want to see it, and I'm going to pull on you as well. I'm going to open with you and that extended, and this energy, you know, I wouldn't... You know, it is what it is. I love doing that. I love pulling on the DF side. But gotta, gotta have the contrast. Gotta pull on both. That said, Nine of Pentacles crossing the King of Cups. This is a King of Cups that might be stingy with the cup. Right? Holds the Ace of Cups. Doesn't give a lot of the cup. Right? Afraid to be vulnerable. Liberating the cup. The cup dumpeth over. Why? Because for some reason in this energy, when they step outside themselves, they go, Oh, shit, I can see it now. My empress energy is low, right? I mean, they aren't going to say that literally. But that explains the fast action here in taking care of things. Somebody is very much feeling you and feeling themselves more, li more, more likely than not. And yeah, I do mean that in a dirty way. I know some of you laugh, but it's true. You know, hey, exploration, an important thing, right? You got to know what you like or you can't tell anybody else what, what, what to do. That being said, same thing applies here. Metaphorically speaking, same kind of thing. Now somebody's making new choices with that have huge butterfly effect, huge ripple effect, change. That's a giant butterfly of change because they've liberated this cup. The cup finally gets spilled out, and that's in part why you're looking good here, right? Somebody, the king, they finally realize that the stability might be with this, you know, not what they've had. But also why we have, when I say you're looking good, your connection's looking good, two six of wands there. It's a lot of wands. It really is. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. And I hope, I'll say this for those that don't go to the extended, just so you know, I hope everybody here is taking the long view of things and not being selfish.
and not being short-sighted. You can't be like that and then call yourself high vibration. It doesn't work that way. You haven't raised your vibration at all if you're short-sighted. You have to take the long view. You have to think about the fact that the choices you make now should be based on lessons you've learned from the past and they should alter in some way as you gain wisdom which affects your future. You're, you're putting yourself in line with new soulmates all the time. New opportunities all the time. That's why it's bad just to stay the same. If you stay the same, the same thing's just going to keep happening. If you make the same choices, the same thing's just going to keep coming your way. Plain and simple. All right? This is huge opportunity energy. It's not just May. It stretches out. The um, uh, Pluto retrograde stretches out a good six months till about October, October 11th. Okay, so pretty close anyway to six months. And the uh, Gemini, Jupiter, is going to be there for a good year, 11 months or so. So, you know, this energy stretches out, but, it, but it's most powerful here. Right at the beginning, for some reason, May is, is supercharged. It's a May on crack. All right? So if you want the extended, the link's in the description. I want it. I'm going to go get it. I have to. Otherwise, it won't exist. Uh, yeah, if, I hope this reading was helpful. And, or at least gave you some food for thought. Anyway, you know. I'm not trying to piss anybody off or insult anybody if you're short-sighted or whatever. Sometimes everybody, including me, needs a smack in the head once in a while. You know, hey, you're being short-sighted. You know, it is what it is. That being said, it's a general reading. So, hopefully it was for you. It probably was for most of you. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, good luck.